I have been waiting for furniture for weeks on end now, so I am pumped to finally be able to show you how Heaven designed her dream bedroom and how I DIY'd it. I do want to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor, HelloFresh. I've been partnering up with them once a month to bring you a different type of a makeover, but we're going to get into that service a little bit later in the video. To give you some background of Heaven's room, we originally designed it when she was five years old. So it was like very neutral and very region almost I guess would be the proper term but we decided to change that up by taking her to pick out her paint colors and I did a whole tutorial on this accent wall to get it up until this point which I'll e-card for you and link it down below. Since the painting is done all that there is left to do is really design the room so I had heaven take my phone when we were going shopping to get an idea of where her head was at for room decor. I like this. I'm mm, kind of looking for a gold accent and I found this giraffe. <laughs> and after this, we are going to But why to do you want the gold accents? My wall. My wall is going to be mint green with um gold polka dots and the, and the rest of my walls are going to be white. I see sushi. Okay, I'm talking. I have never really shown this on my channel, how I sketch out and prep for a room or a project. I'm very old school, pencil and paper, get it in a notebook. So I started measuring and sketching out the walls per Heaven's design request. She wanted carpet, but I'm gonna hold off on that. I will explain later. I'm gonna just do a large area rug. And then she went into detail about how she would love new drapes because the ones that she have are a little bit too dark. She also mentioned that she would like a gallery wall and somewhere for her blankets to be hung. So with that in mind, I was going to execute that to the best of my ability, but also add my personal tweaks along the way. I kicked everything off by designing the gallery wall, and I had everything on hand for this minus like one bit of decor, which is the unicorn with the mint blue and this camera right here. I wanted to make it a little bit more interactive, so I gave her a place to hang the photos that she can take with the new camera, the Polaroid camera that I gave her. But I also put that love sign as a little bit of a nightlight. To add more nightlights throughout the space to cozy it up, I decided to put a nail into the wall and basically string fairy lights just directly across wherever I thought I needed to kind of fill up the space but I didn't want to have to put a ton of decor. I added these clips from Michael's and that's another space for her to add the Polaroids that she can take with her friends when they're having sleepovers and whatnot to just showcase the memories throughout her room. She legit texted me this photo of this chair and pillow. The pillow wasn't in stock, I had to order it. So this was something I had to kind of design around because I just didn't want this random chair to be sitting there. That led me to getting her a dresser, which she also requested, but she doesn't really need a huge dresser because she has a ginormous closet. I ordered this dresser off of Amazon. It fits the clothes that she needs in there perfectly. You wanna make sure that you anchor it to the wall. That way when they're pulling out the shelves, it doesn't topple over on them. So just be sure to secure it if you're getting this one that I linked down below for you. Something that I love because I literally am a stress cadet over here is that I have HelloFresh just having my back throughout these makeovers. I don't have to go grocery shopping or have to worry about curating a meal for our family. I'm honestly not just saying this because we have partnered up over the last couple of months, but HelloFresh is my absolute go-to when Heaven and Paul are just at a loss for what to do for dinner and they're going to do a frozen meal. Absolutely not. Even with my hectic schedule, the home-cooked meals are made simple. From step-by-step -step recipes to pre-measured ingredients, I have everything I need to make a meal in less than 30 minutes that will thoroughly impress the two. Your girl, she cannot cook, and I've said this before, but quite frankly, I become a professional chef if I do say so myself, because HelloFresh just makes it that easy. With Paul traveling or our schedules just being so random, I love the fact that HelloFresh is flexible and fits your lifestyle. You can add extra meals to your weekly order, as well as extra desserts or garlic bread, cookie dough, I mean, oh my God. But you can easily change your delivery days or food preferences, even skip a week whenever you need. HelloFresh is now from $5.66 per serving. So if you guys wanna go ahead and break out of your dinner rut with HelloFresh's 20 plus seasonal chef curated recipes each week, be sure to head over to hellofresh.com or use a link down in the description box below and enter METS80 to get started with eight free meals, which is $80 off your first month of HelloFresh. The next day, I decided to conquer this heavy bed, <laughs> taking it apart. Um, I definitely didn't move the end pieces by myself downstairs. Those are definitely still just leaning quietly up against the hallway wall since they are just massive. Um, I moved the mattress out of the way after designing all of the walls because now I'm going to pull up the rug to lay it out and just gather my thoughts because I did not like it at first. Little spoiler alert. 
No. Oh, it's heavier when it's off the floor. Absolutely not. Before I unroll and reveal, the reason that I opted to get her a rug versus the carpet that she wanted to be replaced is because this kid got 25 more stains during this makeover that I cannot remove off of this carpet. So I decided to test her with a rug, which is an obviously like a more budget friendly and less of a permanent investment into carpet that she's just gonna literally destroy, which is fine. I'm replacing it next year. The reason I also chose this rug as I am unraveling it, oh my gosh, I'm reliving the anxiety. I thought it was a good way to break up the room, really lighten it up but also add some color to the floor to make it more obviously like kid and spunky and just her because she's very fun and very free and I just thought this was a really cute pattern to add into the mix against the circles. I don't know if I like the rug but she likes it. <laughs> I don't know if I like the rug either. No clue what was like the scent of this rug or what was in this rug to make Callie act this way, but I legit had to like close her out of the room. She would not stop zooming. She likes it. That cannot be a part of the pattern. I got like a misprinted one. We can fix this. We can fix this. Once the rug was laid down, I added some drapes that were just sheer because she has window treatments. And then I la 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 I can speak English. Um, what did I do? I brought the bed up because I had to put this thing together. Now, in a perfect world, I would have got a day bed that was a little bit more modern with the iron work or the metal work, whatever you want to call it. I did want it to be open because I feel like that's just going to open up the space more. When she had like a header and a footer that was just solid wood, you couldn't see through it. So it made the room feel very just short and I wanted this to just feel very organic. Again, I've linked absolutely everything that I can for you with Amazon affiliate links down below. So if you wanna check those out, they are down there for you. I got her a trundle bed because she has sleepovers every single weekend. And I just think with a new room makeover, it'd be awesome just to have like a cozy little hangout zone. And the bed is actually the focal point of the entire space because it's more so turning into a couch because she loves to just chill. So now that the bed is done and complete, I went into final details like spray painting half the blanket ladder I made a couple weeks ago to go into her room to pull that gold up to the front of the room. I pulled the blue to the white walls by doing different colored frames with really colorful photos and different little accents I found from Home Goods. I also added a long extension cord and updated those outlets to look a little bit more modern and sleek. That way she has her chargers for her and her friends right there in the bed versus like, I literally find 5,000 chargers around my house when she has friends, so I just wanted to put them all in one spot. Heaven picked out her bedding and I think that's where you start to really see everything come together as to why I decorated how I did. It's just like that pull together moment, which I love and I've been waiting for for weeks since my furniture has been canceled on me 5,000 times. Rude. But you can tell that this color is her absolute favorite color right now, which I think is so cute that she's deciding to reflect certain different things of her personality throughout this space. One is this love of this blue. You can see that that extension cord comes all the way out to here and it has three different outlets so she can plug in her phone charger and then two other different things that she chooses to plug in. To explain a little bit about this corner you're about to see, this is where the gray chair and the pillow duo she texted me is going to be going. I threw down a pink faux fur rug, which I wasn't too sure if I liked it, but I just thought that when she's getting ready, standing there opening up the drawers, it'd be nice to have like something soft and cozy underneath her toes because that's all heaven's about. I added a bean bag that's super plush alongside some of her favorite stuffed animals, but the reason that we're designing the room that we are or the reason that she's designing this room how she is with plenty of open space and it just being a really relaxing zone is because she is in gymnastics competitively full time so i feel like she made this room her space to just come and get her relaxation time and recuperation time handled here this was such a special transformation for me because it was really cool to see Heaven come into her own as a person for her own space because I always tell her you gotta respect your space and you gotta make sure that you're fully functioning in it to thrive as the human that you wanna be. Something I will repeat time and time again is design with your gut. Whatever you love, make sure you implement it into your space because that's gonna make you feel the best. I have to say, 
It's so cool seeing Heaven in her new room because she treats it so differently than she does her old room. And I truly believe because it is now a actual reflection of the mini human that she is. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. To get started with eight free meals, don't forget to click the link down below in the description box and use my promo code. But until then, I will see you Wednesday for an actual uh, a baking DIY, which I haven't done in a while. Wish me luck.